Breaking news overnight, an attempted murder investigation underway in Nu'uanu. KITV 4's Aaron Coogan is live from the scene. Aaron, what do we know so far? Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Leo. Well, a 17-year-old boy remains in serious condition this morning after paramedics found him here at the Wayena Apartments with multiple gunshot wounds to the neck, hip, and hands. Now, as you can see, the scene is cleared about five hours after those initial calls came through. Uh, but just a few minutes ago, a uh, police came through talking to the guard at the guard shack here. We got off the phone with HPD, who confirms this isn't the only scene in this investigation. Multiple scenes are confirmed. Uh, to be looked at in this investigation, uh, just to put things into perspective, about 30 minutes ago, or 30 minutes prior to those calls of the, the shooting, there was calls uh, to the adjacent apartment complex here, the Mayor Wright apartment, uh, of a 74-year-old who incurred stabbing wounds to the head. Uh, they haven't confirmed, HPD has not confirmed whether the two scenes were connected, but it is something to put in the back of your mind, and it does raise the question if these two scenes were connected. Um, again, those calls of the gunshots, though, right here at Viana Apartments came in right before midnight this morning. Uh, first responders administered life-saving treatment to the victim, of course, trying to slow down any major blood loss. And when we're talking gunshots to the neck, paramedics' main concern is treating and managing any vascular injuries because, of course, any impediments to breathing can turn a serious patient into a critical patient. But as of this morning, no update has been released to that boy's condition. As for the investigation, again, it is ongoing with those first response teams looking into, you know, the relationship of the victim and the suspect or whether there were multiple suspects and as well as the circumstances that would lead up to the shooting. Uh, now, earlier this morning, Liliha Street and King Street, that's where this apartment complex is, was closed for a, a brief time while that investigation was ongoing. But again, as you can see, both uh, the road and the apartment complex back open with no other road closures disclosed by HPD at this point. Uh, as any new information comes into our newsroom, we will for sure bring it to you. For now, reporting live, Aaron Coogan, KITV4 Island News.